We don't move. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. So guys, welcome to my stream once again, the wonderful world. <sighs> yes, it has been a long time since I moseyed. And yes, it has been a long time since I spent half my life on this loading screen. It's been a long time that I can remember. Anyway, it's been going on for years. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is I want to get better at this game, this story. Been a good long time. Well, there's an X on my map. I'm very curious. Alright then. Well, I need money. I guess I'm going back to uncle. Unky, Unky. Just one time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is Grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? <laughs> you buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. Alright, well, I guess I'm going with you then. Oh, boy, you go up a lot onto the road. Uh, walk for a second. Run. In the black water. Sorry, go. I barely ever play this. <laughs> yeah. Now, this fella probably saw you. So here's some corn hook idiot, some country roof. Oh god, wait for old uncle. Are we gonna stay together now? Say that again doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse and I'm going to rob him blind <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard I'd think exactly the same thing thinking about it uh, I might actually do this on my own oh I can't let you do that John let's get robbed again <laughs> oh no you need someone with some sense to negotiate and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Hey, I'm coming. Hold on. It'd be nice if you didn't run off on me again. Where were we? Hey, what if they foreclose on the debt? I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. 
This is him. 50% sure I accidentally shot the guy. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and. I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? Hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Mm -hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. And I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. All right, well, I'm in trouble. For the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brother? That's them. They had Nice. Nice. Weren't what I about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Martin's got 
got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get it. All right. Ramon Cortez. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. All right. So Quite how good this game was, sorry. Grays and Braithwaite are still, still at it. Hit your horse up here. Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Ramon. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Look, all right. Senses it would be rude not to rob me. Alright, 
Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we He's got out. Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, how? Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <clears throat> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Oh boy. Del Lobo. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. You want that friend back? You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Del Lobo. It's on! What's old? He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. 
Don't you worry about that. All right. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. But yeah. Raymond. Oh, I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. I can hit Ramon from here. Sniper. Hey, hey guys. Y'all Fowler, Shreddy, or what? I shoot okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. I'm sorry. Let someone run away. Okay. Get them.
We're doing a great job here, Slade. I thought I was meant to do that, okay. My guy just had like a heart attack or something. <laughs> Wait, um, this is a really. I'm a rootin' tootin' cow, boy. I need cover very badly. Wait, just give me a second. Lobo. Wait. Wait up. Wait, I'm just finishing it. Okay, well, guys, uh, I have to go, but we can...
do this mission tomorrow. Well, we can't, but we'll have to start it all over from the beginning. So basically, next video will be the same as this video. But don't you worry about that. That's something I have to worry about now with that kind of stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed because I was just starting to have fun with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it all the way through. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.